So when we're looking at this urban landscape here, it looks a little bit dull or boring without any background. Uh, if you never use the background, look at like this, it's okay. But often we want to get into a viewpoint where we have need for a background. And there are many ways of making backgrounds in SketchUp. But today I would like to show you how you can use Sandbox tool. And the Sandbox is something uh, where you can manipulate a large grid or different shapes and you can pull it in a li little bit different way than a normal uh, pull button. So I'm using this one from scratch here where I'm drawing a grid actually. And it's a large grid I'm pulling up. Uh, I'm making it in the same size as one of these parcels here. Uh, because the grid is so dense, then I would actually like to scale it up so I can start using it for a landscape. So just using the scaling tool and I'm getting it up to a size where it's uh, maybe even larger than the field I'm working in. And then we'll see how we can manipulate this grid into becoming something that is a background. You have to think of the background that it actually is like on a stage. Uh, so you're making an object here that you maybe not necessarily use, but you will look at it when you get into a, into a viewpoint. So now we can see we have a horizon. Uh, we would like to get some more curves in the landscape than that. And to do so, we will have to use the different tools in the sandbox. Um, I'm normally using this uh, smooth tool, like an already now feel that the uh, file is maybe moving a little bit slow. So if we make the grid a little bit smaller, maybe it will be easier to to work with it. I have a lot of a large urban landscape, and also having a large grid there, it pulls a lot. So I'm not running with any shadows or anything now, but. Um, something you have to consider how large grid you're actually working with when you're making these different elements. So I have a radius on 100 meters now. And then when I'm starting to pull, it goes either up or down. And uh, we have to get down into a view where you can actually lift it. And you can see we're getting some different mountain tops now when I'm starting to pull this thing. And uh, it can actually be quite interesting to work with this. Uh, the problem can be to get the right look in the viewpoint. And I would like to lift more, so I'm actually taking a bigger radius, 200 uh, meters. We're starting to lift more here. So now we're starting to get a lot of hilltops, but it doesn't look very nice necessarily. Uh, this one I think wanted to go a little bit down. So I'm choosing a smaller radius again. And I'm starting to pull it the other way. So we're getting a little bit up and down in the landscape. And then we're going to see how that's going to look afterwards. It's quite difficult to get this actually to look something that is nice. Uh, I think it takes some work to get something that looks realistic. Uh, some modeling skills. So now I'm more like showing the functions of it. And then it's all about uh, trial and error to get this thing to actually work. But if you look at it now from the viewpoint in the city, we can see that we have a very large uh, mountain wall in the background, which is maybe not too, it's not too bad actually. I can scale it down and then it will be a little bit easier to look at it. 
but now we still see the grid and it's not so nice to look at the grid. So we have a function in SketchUp where you are softening the edges or smoothing it. And this softening tool is something we can tweak around with and see how it becomes. We can get almost all the different grid lines away. It's not until we put on the sunlight you'll actually see how this looks and works. If we can turn the sun a little bit around, and hopefully we'll find something that is looking a little bit better, where we can use this soften edges in a good way. Uh, I'm not thinking it's. I don't think it looks too terrible. Uh, it could probably be nicer, but getting the shadows as well from this. Uh, mountain tops is nice when so you get something to become a little bit more realistic like that. So that's something you can work with and tweak with, and then hopefully you can get a background that works for the need you have. Use it for your renders. So good luck.